welcome back guys today we have another job we have an xbox series s with a bad hdmi port i've done this in the past but i don't think i've ever done in this uh in this particular xbox and recorded a video so we're gonna do that today see if you can see that so the pins are bent right there it's actually they're actually broken so we're going to be replacing that today and today we're going to use two sources of heat and hopefully you guys or hopefully this helps somebody out there uh, one of my machines broke so we're going to be using the heat gun from the top and a heat gun from the bottom so that's the HDMI we're going to remove okay Let me zoom in, okay. Looks good, we're gonna remove this. All right, give me one second. Sorry about that, give me one second. This is Frank. Pretty good, sir. Sounds like you might have an, uh, an issue with the, with the main board, um, with the PCB board, yeah. Now, here's the thing, I wouldn't be able to test the board here, unless, it is, it, is it an old, uh, just an old arcade machine, or is it one of the new ones where, where it's got the new uh, uh, low profile uh, boards in it, do you know? I see. I'll tell you what, why do you... Why don't you? Why don't you take? Why don't you? Why, why don't you take a picture and send it to, to this number? Can you do that? And then we'll go from there, and I'll call you back. Okay. All right, man. All right, thanks, man. I'll be expecting that, and I'll call you back. Bye, bye. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. I apologize for that. Okay, so we're back. Um, we're going to be removing this HDMI port. Like I said, we're going to be using two sources of heat, one being a bottom one. And this time I'm going to use just a, a regular heat gun. You'll be listening to it here. You'll probably see it as well. Um, and then I'll be using a, a, a top heat gun. And the reason I'm doing this is sometimes I do this even though I have a machine which is currently broken though. But uh, it's just a lot easier to remove. So here's one, and I'm just holding it, and I'm holding the top one here. And I use uh, 600, and actually on the top one I use uh, 820 Fahrenheit. And the bottom one, just a little less, about 600. It only takes, I don't know, maybe a minute, and we can remove this right away. And so set now quickly.
without disturbing the board too much simple as that put everything aside wait for it to cool and I can show you the use the, uh, the um, HDMI port that we just removed here clean All right, so let's turn the board over, over. There's the uh, pins on there. Hopefully that's better. We want to touch them up with a little, a little bit of a uh, solder paste get our soldering iron ready again you guys can find uh, these services and many others on our website at yao.org w-a-y-a-y-e-o.org or if you have any questions you can always leave a comment um, here on the video the comments of course that looks pretty good so here's your new USB I'm sorry micro uh, HDMI I'm thinking of another job forgive me so it's in place in place now so all we want to do is touch the pins a little bit. So all I'm doing is just going over the pins so that the, the, the uh, HDMI port stays in place. So I'm going to turn it over and solder the uh, the main four sides on the other side. Uh, the tools I use will be in the description. We'll come back to this. So we're going to turn it around. I like to add a little bit of flux here. And this is Amtec. And pretty much any flux will do. Uh, however, there is some fluxes that are better than others. Temperature on the soldering iron is 340C. It's kind of hot, but we need it for this particular process. You want to get enough solder there? Uh, in a little bit, we're going to head it with the uh, heat gun from the top that way it solders or it flows through properly and attaches the HDMI port to the uh, to the main to the board so now that we have it in place to start by doing one side
so as you can see it's flowing through and I'll, as I say turn it over in a little bit you'll see what I mean we can add a little more but I think that'll be fine so let's turn it over and check If you look closely, you can see that the solder has flowed through all the way. See that? As well as in this area here. And this area here, you can see it on this side. And right here. So we're fine. We can give it a stress test. Like a little pull from back here. Just wait until it's a little cooler. Let me see if the pins are, are under properly. The pins look great. So we're set. Let me pull it from back here, make sure it's, it's perfect. So this is uh, how you replace the HDMI port in an Xbox Series S. Again, if you guys have any questions or if you have any comments, just leave them under the comments on this video. Or you can visit our website or yale.org, W-A-Y-A-Y-E-O, or give us a call. Thank you guys for watching and uh, subscribe. We're going to be uploading more videos. The next video is going to be a, uh, a replacement um, on the PlayStation 4 Slim uh, Southbridge. So stay tuned. Thanks again. Bye-bye.